Hey guys, this is Jim K and four YCD. You're watching FUP labs radio. Thanks for stopping by. Let's take a quick look at another radio today in our series of radio test videos. We're going to look at it on the spectrum analyzer. Today's model is a Baofeng DM1801 and you cannot see that screen on the camera. Can you? <laughs> well, it's got words on it. It's just way too bright for the camera. So this is a low-end DMR radio. I bought this, I don't know, a year or two ago. Um, this radio is the same as or very close to a GD77 um, radio and a couple others. So it's a, it's a typical clone of several other models. The, um, the radio will run the open GD77 firmware, and I've actually... Uh, modified this to run the open gd77 firmware so it's a baofeng dm1801 when i bought this there was a 1701 and an 1801 so i got 18 because that's more dms than 17 right in any case um it works on dmr and I, you know what little i've used it's been here at my house with hotspot it works a lot better with the open gd77 firmware in it but that's not what we're going to look at today. So the first test is similar to what we've done. I'm going to key up. The radio is set to 500 milliwatt output power. And we're on VHF call 14652. We're going to start on 100 megahertz. The stop freak is 500. And let's see what the signal looks like on the analyzer. So our first peak is obviously at 14652. Our second peak is the second harmonic at 205, it looks like, which is kind of an odd frequency. Um, and that is, uh, so our primary is minus 38, 39 dB. And our secondary signal there is minus 60 dB. So we're only about 20 dB down off of the primary signal. So this radio does not meet the FCC standard for uh, spurious emissions. Let's pop it over to UHF. And let's change our start and stops. We'll start at 400 megahertz. And we'll stop at 1 gigahertz. Same setup, nothing else has changed. I've changed the radio, let's key it up. And holy mackerel, this is terrible. There's stuff all over the place. This is um, at one watt, that's interesting. Let me crank the power down and see what that looks like. All right, let's try this again. All right, that's at 250 milliwatts on UHF call. So it looks like as the power on this radio goes up, so does the uh, hot garbage that it emanates. I'm going to crank this up to 500 milliwatts. And let's see what it looks like there. Now that still looks okay. So maybe at maximum turbo power, it uh, it looks ugly. This is... This is 500 milliwatts UHF. So that's uh, that's looking fine. You can see one little signal trying to be down here above the noise. It's not even showing up on our chart. Uh, so that looks okay. Now let's do one more quick test on this guy. I'd say he's kind of sketchy. Let's crank him up to one watt. Now let's key up and see what we get. Oh yeah, that's that's terrible. So as the power goes up, so does the garbage. So I'm seeing harmonics, spurious emissions all over the band there. And just for what it's worth, this is all into um, the cell wave dummy load. This is a 200 watt dummy load with an RF tap. The RF tap is what's feeding the spectrum analyzer. So that's it for the Baofeng DM1801. Guys, I appreciate you stopping by. If you would, give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and make sure to ring the bell so you're notified whenever I publish any new videos. Thanks, guys. 73.